In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add world edit to your Minecraft Eternos server. Now, it's very easy to go ahead and do this. And essentially, world edit is a great tool which allows you to build very quickly. There's a lot of cool features that you can use of it. So the first thing we have to go ahead and do is go to the Eternos website here. And we need to go ahead and make sure we have stopped our server. Now, stopping our server is essential because we're going to have to do some changes in the back end. That if we're not stopped it, then it's going to just not work. So... Now that we've gone ahead and stopped it here, what we need to go and do is go down to where it says software here and we need to go ahead and change this. Essentially, we're going to have to change it to one of the uh, plugin softwares so we can either use paper and bucket, spigot and bucket or this one here. For me personally, I think that paper and bucket is the best one, at least in 2024. So go ahead and click on this one here. Now you can go ahead and select the version. Um, make sure that you select a version compatible with your world. So I'm going to select this one here. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and press the install button and this will go and install it onto your world um, and just wait until this cog icon has stopped spinning and you should know that it's ready to go. And you can see here it's got the tick and it's ready to go now. What you'll also notice when you do this is that there's going to be a new thing here called plugins. Now up here, the one that we're looking for is world edit. So we want to go over, click on this world edit one here and we need to go ahead and find the version of world edit that is the same as our Minecraft version. So we can see here my server is on 1.21. So we go over to plugins and we'll find one that is on 1.21. So you can see world edit 7.3.4 beta 1. This is on 1.21 here. So this is one we need to go ahead and pick. So go ahead and press this button here, which is the little install button. And you can see, boom, it's now installed onto our server. From here, what we can do is we can go over to our server here and we can just launch it back up. Uh, you might have to watch a free advertisement, but launch it back up and then you can go into your world and use it. And I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I'm starting up my server now, and just to note, when you do do when you do change this, it kind of might uh, take a little bit longer to sort of um, load up. So that's just something to take into account. It might take a second to load up, and also, um, yeah, just give it a second. And you can just go onto the Minecraft launcher here and just wait for your server to be starting up here. And you need to make sure that you're on the right version. Now, once you've logged back into your Minecraft world, I'd recommend doing the command slash slash wand. Uh, make sure it's not capital. And if that works, you're going to be able to, you're going to get yourself a wooden pickaxe here. And this wooden pickaxe is going to be one that you can use for world edits. So you can, you know, right click on things. That's going to set position one. We can go ahead and um, left click on something and then we can do slash slash set. Um, and then we can select something. So let's just say we want it to be uh, these logs. We'll go ahead and do that. And it's going to go ahead and select this as logs. But that's how you know that the world edit is working here because the slash slash one command will work. So it's really as simple as that to go ahead and do. World Edit is uh, a really good tool. There's a lot to it. So um, yeah, but if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about Minecraft or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.